other side. My pronouns are they, them. And this is Cliffside Permaculture. What are you doing up there, Crazy? Okay, well, got a break in the rain and I'm cooking lunch or whatever this afternoon meal should be called. And uh, the water has receded from the porch a good bit. It was pretty deep there at first. So cutting that channel in was a good idea. And I have some additional thoughts about how I'm gonna handle uh, the pond overflow. Oh, by the way, I decided to use the top of the bench arch to pick the glads up off the walkway so I can get through here. Um, yeah, so I got some additional thoughts here and I think I'm just gonna see what I can do. Weed a little bit here. Always impulsively weeding. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is switch you over to fast mode, and that way you can see kind of what I got in mind in real time or whatever. And I'll see you back in a second. All right, I just need to pop in to comment that I think I, uh, I think I clayed in my edging is, and it's part of the pond now, and I'm just gonna have to cut that instead of extricate it. And that is just wild to me. The reason I removed it is because it stops the water from taking the fast flow left turn and pushes it onto the porch. So there's like a, spot where I used to have it hollowed out underneath. Well, um, I don't remember seeing that there when I did this, but okay, here we are. Let's get back to it. explain a little better I think I came to the realization that the rocks weren't clayed in high enough and so that overflow 
if that little inlet there got overwhelmed, which it obviously did today, then the overflow on the secondary was this entire width. And the trench is only here, the secondary trench. And it's not finished either. Like, it kind of goes nowhere other than the path anyway. But it's so dry up where the trench is that I started to realize that that can't have been it. So, let's turn the overflow back on and see if we get any better here. Now again, that's just gravity fed to take the first couple feet off of the rain barrel. But the idea here, let's get a little closer, is that this sill was pretty much at water level. You see how that, um, you see how that violet, the green right here, is in the water. Well, that was the top of the clay and the rock just met to it. And I, I don't think that was enough. So now we got overflow in the form of the hole over there. And then we got a tiny little bit of overflow on this side. But I probably need to make that even higher. Because I do want it all to go that way for the moment. So I'm going to move you back again so I don't knock you with a rock. Readjust your view. I don't think I want this even as low as it is. I can always get it wet again in the future and lower it then. Try to pick the great big rocks out of here just because they make a whole lot of the work with. We've only got like a couple buckets of clay left, but as I build the trench, it's going to be the secondary overflow for this. We'll get a lot more. I'm going to need a lot more because it's still seeping through the walls. Um, down by about a foot whenever it isn't actively raining every day. So I'm still going to need a bit more. This is just this is just blood prevention. Okay. I'm going to put you on super fast. And we'll see if there's enough water left in that rain barrel to finish filling it. Okay, well, it is, it's overflowing now. And let's take a real close look at secondary overflow. Now you can see it's nowhere near engaged. Which means the water's going to go into the trench that does exist when it gets this high. And that is a good thing. The rocks on the edge are gonna help avoid having um having the wood chips that i put down just flow right into the pond too so that's not a bad thing and then i was moving that um piece of edging out the way because i need to recontour down here I think you can even see it from here that the water flow is now going to go 
I need to get the screen so I can that way instead of directly onto the porch. So these are big changes, really. Let me get the tripod less argumentative. So before there was an edge here and it had to go over this plastic stuff to get into this flow away. And so it was rushing this way more often. Now it's contoured so that it'll just flow. And if the water overwhelms the opening, there's no opening. Well, rather, you know, now there's no opening for the water to overwhelm. Doesn't hurt to take care of the mud while we're at it, huh? Because I definitely flipped up a lot of clay in the process of all this. And I don't really want to track that everywhere if I can help it. Looks like I can't help it. I'll have to bring more. But here you can already see that this is now seeping out of the wood chips and going that way. So I still need to bring my uh, pointy hoe through here and dredge it a little more. I may eventually take up all these plastic pieces. Um, by that I mean, um, did you see this black plastic that this slug is hanging out on, right? It's nice to not have weeds, but um, there's limitations to how well I can contour while that stuff's there. So it might, it might have a timestamp on it too. But uh, yeah, there we go. There's still more additional water in the rain barrel, but I think it should go the correct directions now. Whew, that was something. All right, I hope you're having a really good day. Sun is out. That thunderstorm was a doozy, but uh, glad I saw that that was flooding when I did and got it pretty well under control. All right, thank you so much for visiting the cliffside and my flood state, woohoo. Um, this has been Permaculture. Take care, bye.